Hey, all right. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Today we're on a rare mission, something you don't get to do every day. We're actually going to an international airport to fly the drones. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. We got permission from the airport authority and the government here, and uh, it's a new airport that's not opened yet. It's uh, under construction, almost finished. They're looking to open it this year. So they want us to collect some footage of that for us for their own publicity purposes and things like that. So that's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna try and buzz the drone down the, down the runways and stuff and have a little fun. We got the whole group involved today, so it's our first big job together. <laughs> yeah, and off we go. Okay, done. Another dog. Another dog. <laughs> Where are we going? Inside, you said you want to start so inside. Going? Yeah, back in this way or which way? Yeah, we can go in right here. This is the drop off area for the building. Ooh, air conditioning. So, <laughs> this is the check in area. And already the check in counters are in, ready to go. The conveyor belts, they are in, installed and commissioned, so they, they, they can, they're ready for operation. We have some of the monitors installed already. And basically, this is the check-in -in area. Inside the, this area is the interpretation center, and that's where you will find all the history you need on the construction of this airport, from conception to operation. We're gonna have them in there. Then I have videos, newspaper articles, posters, photographs, archaeological artifacts that we found as they did the excavations. They're gonna be on display in that area. So that's the AI Interpretation Center. Washrooms are in the back. Touchdown! Right in the middle of the international airport. <laughs> or the new international runway, right? How was that? Cool? Oh. Here, <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I just want to get some shots of you launching that one and in the air with mine. And then I'll bring mine back and then you can fly around and get some shots of the place and look, see what it does for you, okay? Okay, I'm going to take off and I'm just going to set up over here somewhere where we can see everything in the background and then uh, get a shot of you and take it out.
says you're at 154 feet, you must have sideswiped into the mountain. But this should take it's us right high. to it. Yeah, See, we're this blue dot right here. It's showing where we're going. We're moving towards it. And there's the arrow where the aircraft is. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to make our way over as close as we can by truck. And then we might have to just climb up the side of the hill and find it. Buildings, no buildings now around this area here. No, they're right over here somewhere. Yeah, they're more up here. Underneath where that cloud is. Right, so all the way land here. This, grass, this forest here never moved. Mm -hmm. It's still a forest there. Right, but we're so on why, top of a mountain and have to go around the side now to get down to it. This is actually the same mountain. Right. So what we could do, we could drive back who we was just now and try to get closer to it from there. Because what we was just now was right underneath it. I was driving coming through the road, it was very close to it. These, these areas used to be really fat and nice. I'm surprised there's so much grass up here now. And it should stand out as we get close. So I guess we just start walking up this way and see which way we get close. I wasn't expecting this kind of hike. Look at the view. Yeah, it's a beautiful place for crash drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the view down and then where the truck is, where we hiked from, and the airport where we started from. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is a drone. Oh. oh. Well. Sitting right on top. Everything is good on the top. Didn't even break up. The camera though, the bottom like it got disconnected us slightly. That's okay. But it was just sitting on grass? Yeah, it was just on grass. Cool. The batteries are still on. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna I try make your way down and I just yeah, I'll reach it. Huh? I'll just go down and then I just hand it over because I see hands full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then okay, let's go. Balance. Yeah. We, we, Inspire probably went 3,000 feet that way. And from over there to over here is not even 2,000 feet. So. Yeah, I took the Inspire to 6,000 feet at the end of the runway. Because yeah. I went out past and over the ocean. A few moments later. It must be like a flying We're just like, oh, oh, love talking. Oh, man. What the heck is going on? Oh, oh we should get some lunch. And then we like organized the lunch. And it was just like more time and more time. I was like, oh, no. What happened? And I heard her on the phone. Somewhere. Lost the drone. With such thick brush, it's unbelievable. We got no machete to cut through or anything, just hacking through it. And it's hot. Man, it's like there was one section where it was all under the trees and everything. That was nice. Nice and cool and it was open, you could hike through it, you know. But once you get out into the grass and the grass is like up to your shoulders and you're like stepping on it and you sink in it. It's like walking yeah, in and snow. Big in stone Canada. is inside. <laughs> just open grass and big stone is all. Yeah, and you can't see the stones, there's big huge rocks and sometimes you put your foot down, and there's no rock, sometimes there's a hole, sometimes there's a rock. It's guaranteed there's been no humans on that side of the hill before. And, huh? There were a lot of flip flops washed up on the beach. Yeah, from other people that tried to climb it <laughs> in flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy was with us. He's had long pants and hiking boots, and he's like, Yeah, it was rough. I could feel it through my pants. I'm like, Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Our legs are all cut to shreds. I'm like, oh, shit. Need some fresh aloe tonight. Mm. And Brendan was like, what did you say? I was going to put on better shoes instead of the flip-flops. But it's a flat <laughs> runway. How, what could happen? <laughs> That's alert. I know, Sneakers right? every other trip. Yeah. Make a right turn, RV. Make a right turn. Enter left traffic for runway 36. Start slowing it back, please. 